Welcome everyone. I am here to talk about this new card, Mountain Village. Uh, it got, just got uh, revealed a few days ago. And it says plus two actions, look through your discard pile and put a card from your into your hand. If you can't, plus one card and it costs four. So obviously comparison is to the regular village, plus one card, plus two actions. And well, this one costs more and it only gets the usual benefit of a village if your discard pile is empty. So the other thing should be an upside if you compare, uh, if you think about the costs, because it costs more if it costs two, the other part would be a downside, or it should be. Well, I, I'm here to talk about with you, with you about why I think this card is bad. It's bad for the game, it sucks, and yeah, maybe it will even destroy the game, I don't know. So here I am here to present to you four reasons why Mountain Village sucks. Um, my four points are attacks, experience, the shuffles and balance. Well, let's start at the start and go to the attacks. It's basically so vulnerable to all kinds of attacks. It is bad against discarders because the militia from then makes you discard your coppers and estates and then you have to pick them up instead of drawing a new card. And it's bad against Junkers because they play the Witch, they play the Mounty Bank, and now you have two Junk cards in your discard pile that you have to draw before your Mountain Village can do anything. So, really bad with those. It's also bad against Top Deck Inspection. Um, of course, only if your opponent is smart enough and plays their pool, their Scrying Pool, and starts to discard your Junk cards, and now your Mountain Village is really sad. And also another point that I noticed, it's it makes one card that usually isn't an attack into one, or at least it's possible to make it into one, the messenger. So they play the messenger and messenger a curse, now you have the curse in your head. But that's not even the worst thing, they could also messenger a death card, and now you have the death card and two ruins in your deck. And then you are forced to draw them with, uh, with your mountain village. So even, so, so say you have the mountain villages and they have regular villages. Now they have the access to an insane attack with messenger and you don't. Yeah. So attacks really make Mountain Village cry. Maybe there are no attacks in the deck so uh, in the in the kingdom though. Maybe you think, well, then Mountain Village is fine, right? But it also ruins the play experience. You have no surprises. Usually you play your village and then it's like Oh, I'm so excited. What what am I going to draw? And then it's another village. And then again, you can uh, feel the feel the joy and excitement of drawing these random cards from the top of your deck. And maybe it's a copper. Maybe it's a province. And maybe it's a gold. But there's no such thing with Mountain Village. You go through all the cards that you have already seen, and nothing. There's nothing new. It's boring. You, you don't see anything new from your cards and you, there could be this really terrific top deck on your deck but you don't get to see it with Mountain Village and that's super sad for the experience. That's why I think it's a badly designed card um, and sh maybe it should even be removed from the game right now. But you can make this experience yourself. So the third, par third point on my list is it messes with shuffles but the point is someone pointed out it never triggers a new shuffle and they thought it's a good thing but really i don't know it doesn't seem so good to me um you know the dominion meta it has evolved uh, earlier we thought yeah you play your turn and then you play your next turn but now you kind of count everything in shuffles and the more often you shuffle the more uh, the more yeah closer you are to win um there's also the sayings, you spin to win. And if you don't trigger a shuffle, how are you going to spin? Mountain Village makes it makes your shuffle slow. You shuffle less often because you don't draw new cards. And it itself can't even trigger a new shuffle. Um, and it also makes stash completely useless. Because stash only triggers when you shuffle. 
not so with mining village i guess mining village mountain village i mean so yeah really sad for stash and last point balance and i don't mean card balance but the balance between your terminals and your villages usually you want your deck to look like this play a village play a smithy play a village oh village with only one l who cares play a village and with mountain village there's this thing yeah it's nice that you can pl play a mountain village and pick up the mountain village from the discard play the mountain village and so on and play pick up all the mountain villages from the discard but then the villages in your discard pile are empty and you have one mountain village left in hand and you get to play this one smithy from the discard pile that you then pick up but no more and so now you wasted all those villages for one terminal and what really was your what really did you get out of it that's the question so it really messes with the balance ratio of villages and smithies in your deck so therefore it's a really bad balanced card thanks everyone for watching i hope you uh, understand now why mountain village is bad it's bad for the game ruins the experience is vulnerable against all kinds of attacks and messes with the shuffle meta of Dominion. Thanks for watching and yeah, join next time for more comments on Dominion.